Hey guys, it's Amber, and I am so excited to show you my an unboxing of the travel kit here. Mm -hmm. I literally just got home less than an hour ago from the airport. I just got back from Jamaica. Um, unfortunately, we had to leave a day early because of Hurricane Elsa coming through on our day. We were supposed to fly home. It was headed straight for Jamaica, so we had to make that call. But I will probably be putting that trip in this album. So I'm excited to see everything in person here. So I got home and my box had been delivered, even though I had a mail hold and it was soaking wet. I was really, really nervous. Um, I got really lucky though, because as you can see, even though these are paper bags, they feel slightly damp. I don't think anything's damaged. I took them out of the box because it was soaking wet and dried everything off quickly. But I honestly haven't peeked inside them yet. Um, I have the album here, which I kind of, normally I don't unpack them right away until I'm ready to use them, but I kind of want to check to make sure nothing's wrong with it. And I also wanted to see the pattern on the inside myself. So it's kind of like a nice teal color. Pull it up. It's a good pattern on both sides. And um, this could be fun to put something on the outside. Loving that. So I'm excited to use that. I got, I guess we'll go through the kits first here. So I got the road trip bundle with the traveler's notebook. So while I have never really created or completed a traveler's notebook, I am excited to try it with Allie's designs for a travel kit, obviously. Um, or, you know, if I decide that it's not for me, I can always cut it up and use the designs like patterned paper. You know, um, we'll see how that goes. So it says Ellie Edwards on the back here and then trust the journey. And on the inside, it's got name and date. I just really love the patterns that they chose. This is actually, I've seen this from Studio Calico before in some of their past kits, so it'll be nice because I'll have products that coordinate. It's like got a dot grid pattern on the side. This looks like um, a pattern that was in December Daily. This is from the 2019 collection, that camera pattern, and so is this, the Bring on the Adventure. But I love seeing it in new colors. I love the rainbow. Just some simple patterns, more grids, the sunshine, the wherever you go, go with all your heart and then go see the world. So I think that'll be really, really fun to do something with. And I'm looking forward to the challenge of creating something, a project that I've never used before. So it comes with this adorable patch that says on the road again. I'd say that that is probably two and a half inches maybe. It's definitely not three inches, just under two and a half. And then we have these strip stickers that was really hard to see in the video from Allie what kind of font they were. Because like last year was a really beautiful rose gold, I think. So these have some icons, but it's... um hard to describe the kind of font that it is but I'll pull one up there and hopefully it'll focus for you but they're all black so we've got observations explore keep driving open roads ahead there's a backpack we've got geotag a camera everyday exploring on the go adventures right here road trip documented mountain here and there car under the stars I love that let's go scenic route and let's get lost so those will be fun to add in. I like to sometimes try to remember that they don't have to remain as a flag. You can cut it and use it like a word phrase sticker, you know, on the edge of your photo. And these are really cute. One of the first things that I thought is that these would be fun to put like a hotel key in, but I think they're actually too small for that. So two of them are designed to go this direction and two of them are designed to go this direction. Um, and they're just really fun. I'm thinking this is probably a two by three story card size. 
yeah so really neat the way they did those just kind of a fun thing that you could add to a pocket or add your own photo so this one says we're on our way has a compass let's go and then get away and then that says finding a venture where we are And these wood pieces are just to die for. They are so cute. I uh, couldn't wait to see these in person. We don't have a camper, but we are looking to either get one eventually or maybe rent one. So I'll keep up that one, the camera. I love the lines. And then the little tent is cute. We um, did a tent camping adventure to Montana a few years ago. So since we don't really camp often, I'm considering maybe putting this inside of that album cover just you know to use it since I'm not sure I'll use it in any trips coming up and then these stars are really beautiful compared to like what they look like online they're really really pretty in person and I think she said they're vellum stars and before the words were even out of her mouth saying they'd be great for December daily that's the first thing I thought um so this is almost like I'm not sure if it's supposed to be I think it's black because these are more of a blue and then there's a red, a yellow, a green. Looks like two of each of those. And then it's kind of a shame that they didn't do one of each color in a larger size, but they will be fun to play with. And if you hear my cats in the background, I apologize. I just got home from my trip and I was snuggling with them, but if they're in here, they'll be all over me since I've been gone. So I had to unfortunately shut them out of the craft room. And then the chipboard here, we've got the camper, road trip, small trip, big rewards with the bicycle, open roads, deep breaths, stillness and repeat, a grid pattern, endless miles with no plans except winding roads and big blue skies. Will you come travel with me? Shall we stick by each other as long as we live by Walt Whitman? Find me under the stars, a little star, and then say yes to the unplanned. So it's a fun little kit. Um, mostly flat pieces that could all be used in this um travel planner size but i'm anticipating that i'll mostly use them in other projects then we have the main kit here which i'm going to be really fascinated to see how barbara picnic from the design team uses this album i mean uses this pocket to create an album that'll be cool to see uh, the first person I thought of when I saw these was Morgan Beale because she loves to cut up envelopes in creative ways. So let's go through here. So we've got the plus sign, chipboard pieces. I love that they're silver. And then these, we have the six icons here. And then different phrases on the road, getting lost, always remember, never forget, and then getaway story and not fun. Then we have much needed good times and loving, so fun in this moment, and then love this and finding adventure. I have a hard time using these as chipboard pieces, but what I might do is rip all the layers off and then I can just like staple them on like a tab. Um, so love the fun bright colors of the kit this year. They're a little reminiscent of the 2020 kit, but um, different so a lot more white it's more fresh I think so these I'm definitely thinking that I'll be punching out um, and using on the edge of photos I just think it'll be a really fun way to add some bright color and then so I love filler cards so I was kind of actually hoping for more especially in the six by six but I will take what I can get so we have this grid pattern Generally with patterns like this, what I will do is put something large on it in the center or I'll cut this up and use it as two three by fours in my album so that it um, will help spread the pattern throughout and I can get double the use out of it. I love this. The first thing I think when I see this is to put a geotag on where we're going to be on the map. I love that it's just the outlines. And then this is such a fun card. I love this graphic that they use, it's the watercolor and then all the alleys handwriting around the outside. It's just the perfect place to like add a small embellishment in the middle or like a geotag 
or maybe letter stickers spelling out where you're going. Just super awesome. Or dates. You know, there's so many things you could do with it. Then we have the top five moments to remember. And I really like this collected on this adventure because you could do photos. Um, you could write memories collected. You could actually um, staple things on here. So there's a lot of really cool ways to interpret that. So here we have, I'm going to just separate out. There's all these ING cards, which I also love because it helps you um, tie your, your theme together. So they're really nice, bright um, colors, a little bit of distress in there, which is nice. Um, so the learning, seeing, lounging, resting, listening, driving, flying, reading, finding, and exploring with a great bunch of colors there. Got the green chevron pattern, the bikes, which is super cute. And then I, I truly love Ali's filler cards. They're one of my favorites. Um, so I'll go, we have the green grid pattern that's hand-drawn and then like a swirly pattern. And I love anything that looks like passports. So just kind of looking, the fun thing about this is you can put it in any direction, but I'm just looking to see what all's on here. Just see if there's any for my recent trip. Looks like it's a repeating pattern because United Kingdom's on here four times and Cambodia's on here twice, so really cool. Then we have wherever you go, go with all your heart. The world is big and have, oh, sorry. I want to have a good look at it before it gets dark. And then so happy to leave and so happy to come home. Just super thankful for it all. So that's a great way to end a album right there. And then, I love these. I'm pretty sure I might have asked for these. I love three inch clear circles. I use them in my albums all the time. I love that there are different sayings and different colors. So we've got living my bucket list. It's all about the journey. Pack lighter and go further. Saying yes to new adventures and then let's go adventuring. So I really love this teal color. But uh, you could put a photo in the middle, you can put embellishments in the middle, you can layer with them. They just, I do a lot with brand circles. Um, and if you're interested in checking out some ideas for that, my 2014 and I think my 2016 Italy albums, which are 12 by 12 albums, both feature circles a lot. Um, these paper heart pockets, which I think literally won everyone's heart when they posted a sneak preview. Um, and they're just a great example, too, that, like, you could duplicate this yourself. You could find a picture of a map of the place where you actually went. Like, this is central United States. Like, it's Kansas, Colorado, Wyoming, Illinois is way over here, Texas. Uh, this one is Canada. That's, I oh know, that's Alaska because this is Juneau and some Canada over here. And then this one is Peru because Lima is featured. So yeah, they're cute. And the map goes on the inside as well. So that wasn't very thoughtful of them. Um, but yeah, you could take your own map. You can make this bigger. You can make it, you know, the full size if you wanted and make a huge pocket and put journaling in it. So it's such a creative idea that you can really do a lot with. These are leather tags. You get five of them. Oh, it's pleather, sorry. They are sticky back. They're kind of squishy but they have a little bit of a texture like leather and uh i wasn't sure before if they were like stamped on or if it was like burned through i couldn't really tell but that says just keep going explore the unknown wander freely take me away and embrace the detours again i kind of wish that they were different colors but it has that leather look and uh, it will give you consistency to your album Here. I'm super excited to potentially start working on my album right away. Since we just got back, I don't have a ton of ephemera. Um, and normally when we take big vacations like that, I end up making 12 by 12 or 9 by 12s, but this ended up only being um it was like a six-day vacation. Two of those were travel days. Um and so four days ended up only being three days. So it's going to be pretty small. So um, I think a six by eight will be plenty. So here are fabric. Um, 
I guess you'd call them tabs, but they're kind of also arrows, like in a directional point. Um, these are great for consistency. There's eight of them, which is awesome. Um, and, and fun, bright colors. And you can put those right at the top of a photo or journaling um, and kind of point things out. Or you could even put it sideways, you know. Uh, but you've got location, escape, let's go, serendipity, the story, adventure, staycation, and road trip. So love those. Um, the Rome kit last year had arrows that were made out of this um, fabric material and I used all of them. They come out so well. It just gives some really awesome texture when you are adding them to a photo or you know, whatever you're doing. So almost done with the main kit here. We've got this um, masking tape, which mine's a little damp right now because of being wet. So I probably won't mess with that too much. Um, I don't use masking tape often, but I'm considering it. I'm not sure how yet. Um, I'm thinking almost of using it as like very large word phrase stickers and like tearing that chunk off and letting it be on a photo. I'm not sure. Um, and then a bunch of cork geotags. I'm pretty sure at one point, maybe two years ago, maybe last year when they were asking for ideas, I was like, make a puffy tag kit literally, or I mean a geotag kit. You can make them out of puffy stickers cork, wood, pleather, et, like die cuts, you know, like stickers, anything. Um, cause I use geotags on everything and I love these. They were originally, I believe from the lost and found kit. I could be wrong. Not hundred percent sure, but that is the main kit. Loving that. All right. And then, oh, and I forgot actually these stickers. I love that I think this is the first time they've ever done this where they added different colors, which makes it awesome because you're not using the exact same color throughout the album. Uh, what I'd love to see them go even further with is, and I've seen um, Citrus Twist Kits do this, they'll have three different color backgrounds all on one sheet which allows you to mix and match all the same theme, but with different colors. So they're they're getting there. I love the different options on here. I think the arrows are fun um, and it's got some great sentiments on there. So, sorry, I forgot about that. Then here are all my um, shop products and extras. I did get one more of the four by six stamps, which I don't have here. I had to order it separately because it, um, when I was checking out, I was at work, the site was crashing and I was afraid that something would sell out. So I just checked out with what I had in my cart and then added the stamp later. And usually stamps get reordered, so not a huge deal, but I love this six by eight stamp. Sorry. Um, overall at most it's not much more than seven and a half anywhere. Let's see here from the fattest point. Yeah, at seven and a half at most. Um, and there are some really, really fun icons all throughout here as well, which was also, I was debating getting it digitally or stamping, um, like the actual stamp, but all these icons, like the town, geotag, the compass, the stars, the passport. Here's Hawaii and Alaska. We've got, um, the solid and outline heart, a little bus or van, camera, a plane, Statue of Liberty, which is such an interesting icon because there aren't really any other like specific icons, a little cruise ship, and then another um, outline star to go with that. But I just think this is going to be really fun. Um, we took a road trip to Tennessee last year, so I will probably stamp this and maybe stitch along there or use some arrows or geotag something. Um, but I love having it in Allie's handwriting and I can't wait for them to include other countries going forward because that's something they said they'll be looking to do. Even digitally, that'd be awesome. Um, this kit, this stamp here has the little camper van, the adventure waits, road trip and stop number, and then a ton of words here in a great uh, typewriter style font. And I love that they're even squeezing in just, you know, one more stamp on the side there. So open road, bucket list, enjoying, listening, packing up, out the window, driving, home on wheels, camping, campground, RV life, front seat, 
planning on the road another stop meals car adventure destination great outdoors loving itinerary follow the map getting lost and this so it's a great set of words and uh the great outdoors reminds me they have a great outdoors kit coming out soon which will be really fun and this is also a great kit for a stamp um so many things you can do here i love that there's a solid and an outline that are different size from the ones on the six by eight stamps you can mix and match those which would be cool. Morgan Beale did a great, um, I guess she's working on her mini album or a project um, where she was showing all the different ways she had used these stamps and they almost all fit inside here, I believe. So really cool. Love that they have the favorite spelled both ways. Um, bring on the vacation, making memories, holiday memories, on the road, arrive in hotel, getting there, loving best part, return. So happy to be able to go somewhere, which is so true, in the air. Much need to get away, love this, and make it happen and go. So that would be really cool. Love the geotag here. Um, and it's funny because Allie was saying a lot of other countries use holiday memories as what they call vacation. But there's also times when we just travel on holidays. So that would be fun too. Or use it for Christmas, you know. Um, I love that they came out with a 6 by 8 chipboard set. I can't wait to see more of these in the future. I'm super excited about it. Uh, this was a stamp die that they used for the 2020 December Daily, and it had all these really cool tags, um, but I love it for chipboard. It's genius. So we've got scenic route for the win. Always a good idea. Remember this. Travel success. Oh, yeah. A little geometric pattern. Travel fail. Ugh. So good. Finding the way. Travel opens the eyes plus heart plus mind. Love this part, loving this awesome globe. And then we have story captured bikes and just a little handwritten, sorry, hand-drawn grid there. Fun colors, love the colors of this kit. But um, just such a great idea. I can't wait to see more of that. And here we have these clear plastic words in these like multicolor fonts or multicolors I should say so we've got um adventure wander explore travel and outside and what I'm kind of picturing is that like we got one two three four like this will be perfect for my what ended up being like a four or five day trip using these as page openers in my, you know, six by eight album. I can grab a transparency from my stash, staple this right on here with like a little embellishment or something that, you know, kind of have consistency in the album. Like something weird on there. I'm not sure I'll figure that out later, but I just think that they're really cool really cool I'm uh, definitely excited to use them and with them being translucent like that or trans or clear you know you can do some fun stuff with layering so like if I put these on a transparency that has a pattern you'll be able to see the pattern through it which will be cool but still have the color show up so lots of creative ways to use these I think um I think Morgan Meal had one going vertically in her album you know, you could put it in a three by uh, six pocket because it looks like none of them are larger than six and a half. So most of them would fit in a six, a four by six pocket or a three by six pocket vertically. Oh, one more stamp here. I don't usually get icon stuff like this, but it looked like, and I have the, uh, the other stamp set with all the big words. It's another six by eight. Um, a lot of the words would fit inside of here. And I also just took the stamp your story class with um Laura Wanzig from the creative team and she showed some really cool ideas so I just figured I'll try to be more creative with it I also begged multiple times on the Facebook posts about uh, I product ideas for them to make these literally every year with the travel kit in coordinating colors and Thank you for whoever listened and made these. I got several packs of these because I love them. I use them and there's so many colors on here. Like this is a red, more of a coral, pink, yellow, a light green, a dark green, 
light blue, dark blue, gray, black. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten colors on here, which is fantastic. And then multiples of them. I use them everywhere. So I'm excited for those, like you wouldn't even believe. I have two packs of the ones from the Lost and Found kit that I use all the time, and I'm so excited to have new colors to mix in. So these are the word phrase stickers in a pretty large, um, they look like label tape, um, like, you know, the, um, Dymo label makers or whatever. That's the kind of font that they use, which is the font that they use on those white tabs in the road trip cap kit. Um, but each of these is different. It looks like these three stickers are the same on all of them, which say yes, no, and us. Um, but yeah, they're all totally different. And uh, I love it because it kind of looks like um, like a good travel-y font that they chose. But like passport, you know, just great sentiments on there. Sightseeing, destination. We have these patches here, which are adhesive. There's five of them. So we've got pack a bag and go. Let's go exploring. So that's the camper in the tent. This is my journey with the bike. So much to see and do with the mountain and then travel memories. So those will be awesome and a fun texture. And they're a little bigger than I was guessing. So they're more like two and a half inches tall and a little over one and three quarter inches wide. So they're pretty decent size. We have these wooden veneer pieces, which weren't shown on Allie's product release because she didn't have them in time, but they are cool, let me tell you. Um, they're painted like a tan color. That's not the color of the wood. So that's the wood color and that's the painted color. So it's like a light grayish, I guess. Let me get them a little organized here. So we've got some fun shapes like a geotag and a tree. And if you don't use this for your travel album, throw it in your December daily stash. I probably will be more willing to use it for that. Uh, a plus sign, got a heart. Got some signs here that say, go see do, Rome. Let's get out. I think they meant get out of here. Oh, let's get out there, sorry. Uh, lead the way. This is my journey. Got a W for wander, explore. Let's get away here and there and let's get lost. And then the circles I have into the great unknown with a tent. The, oh, the places will go with a star. This super awesome glue. And remember, if you don't want to use this, you can flip it over and do something else like stamp on it or just use it as a wooden piece. Um, travel and wanderlust travel memories and it's a beautiful world out there so they are super fun and I anticipate that they will be really fun to layer with the circles from this kit wherever I put them they're already in the envelope um from the main kit the plastic circles or um with these plastic circles here. So they came out with these in the December daily release for 2020. They're super duper awesome. They are a two inch circle, I think. When, yeah, just about two inches, just shy of that. So they have 48, which is insane. And some, like the, like these are great. So say you have a photo you could have it sticking up over the top of the photo. You could have it sitting on the bottom of your photo and you could cut this off and use it somewhere else. You know, you could write on it. You could put it in the middle of something. You know, there's so much you can do with it. Um, so we've got these five that are go here, lost room and see. We've got my path. There's quite a few of these as well. So I swear I'm not gonna go through them all, but there's like, so many travel memories. It's a great big world out there. They both say destination. Oh, here's another one that says away. This one says everything's a discovery. And then we've got some map patterns and some 
get lost and there's and palm leaves. I love when there's at least handwriting on them. So just really fun. And they all have, they have, you know, this, this color family. So there's the red, the light green, the dark green. Actually, there's a couple different greens here. And the light blues. So just really fun. Suitcase, the souvenirs, cute. I love that. The road trip, passport, stamp pattern, world. So those are going to be awesome. And that is everything, guys. I can't wait for my other stamp to come in the mail. It pretty much mailed like the next day after these mailed. So I'll probably get it on the 6th because everything's closed for the 5th for the 4th of July. And I'm now been home for an hour and 15 minutes so i will get my photos downloaded i'm gonna get my ephemera organized that i collected on the trip and then when i start making videos i will um for the project i will be sharing them on youtube i'll share them on the uh, facebook channel for everybody to see and um i can't wait to share my process with you so thanks again so much for watching bye